we now come to um, the open questions, uh, where you have an opportunity with uh, Mr. Al Ali uh, being here to have any questions that you may uh, want to pose to him. And um, there is a, a roving mic, so if you want to take your time and ask anything. Okay. At the front here. I have uh, one question. Uh, you just mentioned about uh, the app, uh, and uh, I just downloaded right now to check it. And uh, it's interesting because one important question is, um, as an investor, and if we want to go buy an apartment or a house or rent one, and uh, as, as you mentioned, there are like around 4,000 brokers out there. How can we check if this broker is registered by the Dubai Land Department uh, or not? Actually, I think it's a very easy way. You, you have to upload the system, which is Dubai Brokers, and you can see the full detail of the brokers. And for those who, who don't use, for example, who are not tech savvy, for example, is there, is there a number they can reach or uh, other ways to check? Sorry, I couldn't well, I mean, if I can just step in there as yeah. a broker myself. Yeah. Um, so the first thing you need to do, obviously, if you're an investor, uh, you see, you got me to answer a question, didn't you? You got it right, yeah. <laughs> um, is to go on the uh, RERA website. There you can see all the registered brokers. They're, they're in a list from either alphabetical order, broker order number, in, in, in their name or name of the company. So this is one way. But you actually bring up a good point, because I was actually going to ask Mr. Al Ali myself about the, um, the brokers app, which you, you mentioned there. This was introduced uh, a few months ago. Uh, one day I just saw it, I heard it on the radio, I heard it on the newspaper, and uh, I downloaded it, and I was very disappointed to see that I wasn't even there. Um, so I thought, well, okay, maybe it's in its infancy, and of course, second wave, I, I was there. But um, the question that I had is that uh, this, this app was, was based, the grading was based on the transactions at the land department. Now, there was one thing that was glaringly obvious to me is that not every single broker out there does the transactions at the, uh, at the licensing centers. Um, and in fact, it was obvious because the number one broker, uh, and I have nothing against her, but you know, she, she worked for a company and she was the one that signed off every single deal. So of course, in the eyes of the market, she was the top broker. So my question to Ms. Al Ali is, 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 is this app working? Uh, has it been well received by the, the public? And is it going to continue to be judged on just transactions? Yes. Uh, actually, I think the problem regarding this uh, app, as you mentioned just now, because it takes only one criteria, it is the number of transactions which is done through the broker. But inshallah, in the future, we're going to work as we uh, show now the presentation for the office, the broker office. There is a lot of criteria. So this is same will happen in the future for the broker as individual broker also. It will be not just one criteria only. And the second point also regarding the number of transactions. Maybe this is a mistake from some offices or the management of the office itself. Because they send one broker to finish the transaction, even this broker if he was not involved in the deal from the beginning. So this is the, the office mistake here, because okay. the broker who was involved and communicate with the customers, he should go and do the transaction, because this will be registered by his name. But if they keep sending one of the brokers to go and register, so he get the benefit. This is why this is, might happen. Okay, so there you go. Um, before perhaps I, uh, do you have another question? Okay. Daniel? Yes, hi there. Um, we agreed no question from your side. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed. Easy question, I promise. Easy okay, question. If it is easy, okay. All right. I just wanted to check the, the new scoring system. Did you have a time frame that you were looking to roll that out? Is that something that has already started, or is that something that is going to be rolled out in future? And a second question, for guys like us, the software providers, MasterKey, uh, can we get a way to show that on websites and to actually show that score in other places besides just the RERA website? It was not an easy question. I didn't understand what you said. Perhaps can you explain for me? Daniel, can you just ask the, f the first question again first? Yeah. And so then so when, when will the scoring system come out? 
think it's January, isn't it? So I, I believe it's January next year it's going to start, uh, from my, my understanding. The, the grading the classification, is, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, it is from 1st of June. 1st uh, of uh, January. 1st of January. 1st of 2016, January. yeah. Okay, thanks. And do you want to ask the second question in another I, way? I, or? I can try again. Um, so that score is very important for the market to know. And obviously, when a person is looking for uh, property, they're searching in different places. So it would be nice to be able to show that score, the, the agent score or the office score, on the website of the office or on the website of where the agent has the listing. So it would be, a, a, we would like to actually bring that score to many different websites. So my question is, will we be able to get that score and be able to, to advertise the score? You understand? Can you explain for me? Okay. I mean, from my, again, my understanding is that this grading will be at the land department website or RERA website. You mean, um, you the, mean, you mean the, the classifications? The classifications. Yeah, this will be in the land department website. So, so anybody yes. wanting to know what a specific company, again, like they come to see whether you're a registered broker, they go to the land department, uh, they go to the RERA website. And I suspect the same is going to be true here. Now, no. it, to answer your question, it's a little bit more technical because I know, I know where, what you'd want to do with it. But, you know, even us individually as brokers, um, whether eventually individually or initially as, as a company, you know, if we're very proud of being a, a gold uh, standard classified, clearly we're going to want to tell people about that, and no doubt we'll be able to put that classification on our own website, I would have thought. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Down the front here or here? Who's got the mics? Oh, here. Um, good afternoon. Um, Ali, I was just wanting to ask you, I'm from uh, real estate, I'm from Grand Home Real Estate. You're going to have to probably speak a little bit louder and so a little bit clearer not, because not, we, cannot, we cannot hear properly. I am from Grand Home Real Estate. I just wanted to ask Ali uh, what we're noticing in the market. There's more brokers advertising properties on the net saying they're exclusive. But actually, if you look at some of the properties, other agents are saying they're exclusive as well. I mean, how can you control that because it becomes very confusing to the market. It's, it's challenging, I understand, but how do you do it? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the problem that we have here is that the Land Department and RERA can only police things. And it really is up to us as brokers to make sure if you've got an exclusive, get your Form A signed. That is an exclusive. And, you know, we have to keep questioning other companies I know if I've got an exclusive and I see you advertising one, I'm going to pick up the phone and say, okay, so where's your exclusive? Uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm direct with the owner. Well, prove it to me. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where you guys need to start being a little bit more transparent with each other. Don't yeah, tell I, uh... people to go away, mind your own business. If someone's calling you saying, I have an exclusive, you say you have an exclusive, share some information. If you want to block a few things out, fine, arrange a meeting. There it is. You know, unfortunately, we have to eradicate this. But it's, it's a problem that they, they can only try and help, but they don't have the solution. But right? maybe, yeah, let, maybe... Let me explain, uh, explain one thing regarding the forms. Yes. Some brokers, they uh, saying when you ask them, do you have a form A or B or uh, F? So they answer, the owners or the seller, the buyer, they don't want to sign the contract with us as a broker. The problem now here, because if you refuse to deal with this client because he did not sign with you the contract, and he went to other office, and the other office he accept to work for him without signing the contract, mm. you're going to lose your business, right? Yes. So this is the reason most of the brokers, they are dealing in the market without using these forms. This is what we need from all brokers to cooperate between the government and between the brokers to implement these forms. If all brokers, they refuse to work with any client without signing this contract with him, so in the end, the client, he have to sign. But yeah, if understand. some brokers, they not working without these forms, other brokers, they accept to give the services without the contract, this is the problem here. So it depends on the broker themselves here. Yeah, I was just wondering, Ali, if you could, maybe if it was exclusive, you as RERA could command that they have to register the, that with you. So if another broker was challenging them 
on their exclusivity, rather than going back, as you were saying, Maria, to the broker and they have to be nice and open up, that the broker who's challenging can go back to RERA and say, RERA, are they exclusive on this property? But Mr. Al Ali is from the, from the land department, he's not from RERA. All right. so, so this is okay. a, a different, right. different thing from the licensing. All right, okay. Sorry. Okay. I think there was a lady here at the front. Thank you. Kind of working on that, what you were talking about as far as exclusivity. I've been involved in real estate for 18 years here. I mean, the most simple way to do it is code every property and have a multiple listing system. It's not rocket science, the entire world does it. And I think that that's something that this region has needed for years. And it's the only way, if there's a multiple listing system, that people can't take other people's properties, period. Yeah, I mean, MLS is something that I think the, the has been we talked tried, about we've for tried to, to do. And yeah, I'm sure they'll. They'll, they'll look into that. MLS system? Is that something? Is that something? That MLS? Yeah. I mean, is the land department with it's RERA? It's a multiple listing system that if every property is coded, then there's, nobody can take another person's property. Well, long time back, we discussed with our CEO, Mr. Marwan, regarding the MLS uh, systems. And we had also Samsari system, which is uh, electronic for the forms. But I think the, His Excellency, our General Director, Mr. Sultan Bhutti, they have advanced idea about this project. So that's why it has been delayed till now because they are providing, I think, some different ideas now. Okay, um, I think we've got room for one, yeah. one more. Mr. Ali, um, hi, this, this side on the right, on the, your left hand side, yeah. Um, there you over go. Just my Wherever. question is Sorry. regarding the We're actually planning. over here. This Sorry. Seems <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> the Sorry, talking Ms. Ali, thank you very much for your presentation. My name is Bilal Moti. Quick question. Uh, you have, I think, a sufficient level of scoring and kind of monitoring of the brokerage companies. Uh, do you have a similar system for the individual brokers as well who are working with the brokerage companies to ensure that they are also on the individual levels complying to the you know, requirements of the trade. Can, can you, I didn't tell you about this one, because the voice is not clear for me. It's yeah, can you repeat the question? Sorry, and I was reading this, so I didn't actually no issue, listen. No issue, no so, issue. Sorry, I'm say saying that again. like the good system you have for uh, monitoring and scoring the brokerage companies, do you also have existing or planned system for monitoring the individual brokers as well to comply with the regulations of the trade? If I, if I discuss... It's coming, no? The individual brokers is coming with the grading yeah. system. Yeah, yeah, the ranking for the individual is coming. Plus, also, we are working in the black points for the violations from the broker side. Because now the violation it is registered against the company as a company. Because, as you know, we are not dealing with the brokers as individual. We deal with it as a company. So, even in the future, we are implementing or improving more the... Uh, control and uh, inspection section and we're going to activate also the black points against the broker who's breaking the rules and regulations okay one more question uh, yeah just my question was for the off-plan properties they're not taking under consideration because the developer himself is not registering the transaction that's been done by the develop by the broker himself so there's no record for the transactions, off-plan yeah. transactions in the lab department that have been done by the, the broker himself or the brokerage company. I think, uh, I don't know whether you, you heard that well. What, what he's saying is, obviously, when you're selling off-plan, you know, you, you're yeah, doing okay. deals, there's, but they're not registered no here. For the broker's registration with the developer, right? Hmm. Yeah, we discussed this point earlier with the brokers, and we also uh, discussed it with our IT department to solve this uh, problem. So they're going to add in a code system that the broker will bring the, uh, the seller to be registered his name in the system. Thank you. So there's going to be modifications. Yes. Um, okay, just one, one more, Klaus, because then I have to wrap it up. Yeah, um, over here. There's going to be plenty of time to ask more questions later. Don't worry. Okay, thank you very much for the time to me now. Um, I have only one uh, uh, the question I have is um, the scoring system you have only, as I understood, will uh, give points to companies also in, in relation to the number of the agents they have. Is this correct? Sorry, say that again. So you, you, you As I understood this, the scoring uh, system you have now in place 
will also judge a company or give points to company in the relation of the number of agents they have. Is this correct? My, my question is how you will deal now with agents who only de only doing leasing contracts. In my company, for example, we only have a department only doing leasing. So how, how you will uh, score such an agent in the, in the future? Explain for me because I didn't... Uh... Okay, my understanding is some, some companies will have small amounts of, of people in, in them, you're saying? Yes. Yeah. So... As I understood is that in this moment a company he's, he's has He's talking about agents. the criteria which is depends on the transaction number? No, I, I talking about the number of agents in the company. The number of agents in and, the company. And only okay. some of these numbers, a handful of, or let's say, 20, 30 percent of these agents doing only leasing contracts. So especially in leasing, not sales. Well, if they're only dealing, a small amount is dealing with sales, and obviously that particular company, I would imagine, is going to get penalized if uh, the majority is on number of sales. But of course, remember, it's all about legislation. It's about how long the, the, the company has been uh, operating. No, even, even the sale transaction also, it has been divided two parts. We have the number of transaction plus the value of transaction here. If he's talking about the ranking for the offices here. Um, what about if a company is only dealing with rentals, for example? This ranking actually it is for buying and selling, but in the future we're going to work on the renting or leasing uh, brokerage. This is what I wanted to This know. will cover only buying and selling. So I think, I think we can understand that this is a good initiative, but it is a work in progress. And obviously as we get to find out more you know, questions like this, and clearly uh, the department is already one step ahead of us and they are thinking about it. But I want to mention just one important yeah. point for the brokers. Most of the brokers, they have activity which is called supervision management activity in their license. And we have law which is uh, two for 2003, it is for subleasing. And uh, we find some companies, they are practicing which is sublease activity through supervision management uh, activities which is this is against the law. And we have sent already the circular for all the brokers because it is very risky. The leasing or subleasing activity, it is required the bank guarantee, which is 5 million dirhams. So we hope from all brokers who is having this activity in their license to, uh, to not uh, break the law and work as a sublease or to receive any rents under their names. Mr. Ali, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. We have to move on, ladies and gentlemen, but there's plenty of time to ask other questions, and I will, I will use this question for something else. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much.